We have nothing to eat. <laughs> you need to meal plan before you can prep, which is the actual cooking part. If you want to save time and you want to save money, because let's be real, we're all busy, and I want to maximize the time that I do have, so meal planning before I start to prep and go buy all the stuff at the store is a necessity. So if you want to do sick meal planning, S-I-C, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Welcome to Our Family Bee. My name is Brigitte, and today we're talking meal planning. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell down below so you get updates whenever we post new videos. You can also check us out on Instagram or at our website, which is ourfamilybee.com. Sick meal planning, S-I-C, schedule, inventory, calendar. Now you can do this once a week, you can do it every two weeks, you can do it once a month, whatever you find that works what you need to do is plan. So the first is schedule. We both work full-time outside of the house, so our schedules vary. Mostly mine varies. So what I do is take a calendar, any old calendar, and I write down my schedule for that week or that uh, two weeks, and I can tell by looking at it what days I need to eat at home and what days I need to plan to bring food with me to work. If you have children who have activities, this is where you will want to write down what days their activities are, what time, so you know ahead of time if you need to bring stuff that can be eaten in the car on the go, or if you're gonna be home to actually cook a meal. So after you schedule, you're gonna need to do inventory. Inventory is crucial because we wanna practice zero food waste, which means we wanna use up what we have, and that will save us money before we go buy anything from the store. So we will inventory everything we have. That means I check the fridge, I check our freezer, I check our deep freezer, I check our pantry, and I check the shelves that are behind me. So first I will inventory the fridge to see what needs to be eaten, and I will put that at the front end of the meal planning. Next I will look at what meat we have. What do we have in the freezer? What do we need to use up that we got last month? And lastly, I will look at the pantry and see what we need, what staples we have and what I can incorporate, what things do I need to fill in, like are we out of soy sauce, are we out of sriracha, are we out of mayonnaise, ketchup, all that kind of stuff. So after you inventory, you can make a list of things that you need to buy from the store. So what I usually do is I have this on our fridge. This is because I just went grocery shopping for this month. And I will keep it on the fridge, that way if during those two weeks that I'm in between shopping, I find, oh, I'm running low on this, I will go ahead and highlight what it is. These are all of our favorites, and actually I'll include the principle down below. You can fill it in, put all of your favorites that you would normally get, and that makes it easy to do inventory also because I can run through the list and say, oh, are we out of chicken thighs? Are we out of uh, lunch meat? Do we need some pepperoni? Do we need milk? Do we need, you know, greens for smoothies? and and salads and stuff. So it's an easy reminder for me. So I have that posted on the fridge, and as I'm doing inventory, I'll go highlight or write down you know, any extra things that we buy infrequently, uh, and the space is down below. So I'll include that down below. You can go ahead and download it. Feel free to use it, and I hope it helps you like it's helped us. So after you've inventoried and looked at your list, and made your list for the grocery store, then you can do C. So we've done S, schedule, I, inventory, C, calendar. This is where we work the calendar puzzle. So I've written L for lunch, D for dinner, I've written where I need a single serve meal to bring with me, and I've written where we are eating at home. And I will just try to put together the puzzle pieces of things that are gonna go bad first, I'll put those on the front end, and then things that I can pull from the freezer after that week or after two weeks, I'll start to put those on the back end of the calendar so that I know those things won't go bad, they're safe in the freezer until I need to use them, but I'll use up all the fresh stuff we have first and incorporate the things that are gonna go bad first. And then we will do a meal prep. Meal prep is where we will do some preliminary cooking, some chopping, and putting some stuff in the freezer so that we can use it later in our schedule. And guys, that's it. Sick meal planning, schedule, inventory, calendar. This has saved us so much time, so much money, 
it makes it really easy and um, it's worked for us. We're very busy. I'm not at home all the time and it, it has helped us. So I hope it helps you. Bye. Thank you.